Oh my goodness, I could not wait to record this video, you guys. We are getting ready to go out. This is our fourth, what he calls, date. I still say outing, and he was like, no, they're dates. So, our fourth date, we are going back to Dave and Buster because we didn't use all the money that were that he put on the cards. And we're very competitive. So I joke around and say, well, we both say it like, oh, I let you win. So tonight, since we've gotten to know each other a little bit better, it's on. Like, no hope, take the gloves off. What you wanna do? <laughs> But I'm excited um, to see him. I'm tired, y'all, because we stay on the phone like all night. And the joke that he made, which we are not living up to, is he said, stay within your age bracket. And we are not doing that. We are acting like teenagers. What? And I'm so tired. Like, I am exhausted. But I know being with him will um, wake me up a little bit. So... But we're doing Mickey Mouse theme tonight. Uh, so this is my Mickey Mouse shirt. I don't know what his looks like yet. And I'm just doing jeans and some gym shoes. So we're trying to, we're already trying to coordinate. What? Yeah. So stay tuned to find out how the fourth date is going. I really like him. I really like him. Very respectful, kind. Um, we have get great chemistry. We laugh a lot. Our conversation is never, never dull. Like there's never like a, um, a moment where it's like silence. Yes. So that's good. And he, uh, asks very good questions regarding, um, dating and stuff like that in your past and your present and your future. And I keep telling him or asking him, what book you reading from? Because how you know how to say the right things? Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. But yeah. So thanks for like following this journey. I can't wait to share more. I enjoy reading your comments. Uh, make sure you comment below your thoughts regarding this journey. And if you have uh, taken the step of faith to try online dating. So this is my journey that I am uh, sh uh, sharing with you guys and I hope that you are enjoying it. But I gotta get ready. Like I'm supposed to be leaving in like 15 minutes. I have my contacts in. I will be taking my reading glasses because even with my contacts, I can't see y'all. With my like reading, I can't see reading. Like I can see, but not reading. So yeah, I can't wait to take cute pictures with us with our Mickey Mouse shirts on. Stay tuned. What's up? I'm AP and I am on a journey to see if there's really love out there for those that are over the age of 40. I recently created in two actually, two online dating profiles, one on Plenty of Fish and one on Facebook um, to see if there are nice guys out there. Now we all, you know, see where on social media where guys are this or girls are that and blah, blah, blah. And they often say that it's hard for people over 40 to find love. So I am in search for love. Yes, yes, I can say that. And I have been documenting this journey. Um, if, you, if, you, if this is your first vid, uh, video that you've clicked on, you're gonna wanna uh, click up here to see the previous videos regarding how I even got to this point. Uh, it's been an interesting ride to say the least. I am like so happy to share how it is going. Um, so I have my notes here cause y'all I'll be, I'll forget, I'll forget. All right, so just to give you a quick background, um, like I said, I created two dating profiles, Plenty of Fish, Facebook. And up until this point, I've met with three gentlemen uh, so I don't say the guy's names and I don't really talk too much about like, like where we go per se. Like I, I respect people's privacy. And, um, so I use their, the first initial of their name. So we had, uh, D and if you know that story, he's gone. Balloon popped. And then we had, um, uh oh my god 
gosh. <laughs> that is not right that I don't remember this man's name. Oh, E. E. Yeah. So he's a nice gentleman as well. But, you know, everybody that's nice is not meant for everybody. And that's okay. But like, he's a totally great guy. Um, he just, in my opinion, just lost the momentum in the pursuit of me. So balloon pop there. All right, so then we have R. Yes, yes, we have R. He's awesome. He is really awesome. Uh, we have been, well, he has been consistent with his pursuit. Uh, he's very good at text messaging, at calling, and going out. And so up until this point, you know, because people, you know, are busy and they're working throughout the week. Uh, we usually hang out on the weekends. But even through the week, we are on the phone, y'all, to like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning sometimes. Right. I am not a teenager. And it, I laugh because he said we need to stay within our age bracket. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but you know how it's just so much fun that you don't want to get off the phone? So that's how it is. All right, um, yeah, he's been putting in the work, y'all. He has been putting in the work. So I'm gonna do a disclaimer right here, though, before I proceed, because I know a lot of people are like AP, be careful, um, and they may use words like love bombing, or um, people could be just showing you their representative and all of that. I understand the concern because I would want the same concern uh, that you have for me. I would want that for you. And so I'm just sharing my journey. Uh, so let's just go with the process. Let's just go with the process and see how it goes. Um, I do believe that you need to spend time with someone ample amount of time um, to get to know them. I don't feel like you will ever know anyone completely to 100%. I don't believe that. But, you know, the more you spend with that person and you see how they're interacting on in different situations around different people, uh, like I said in the previous video, our, uh, he was able to meet one of my friends and I got to see that interaction and it went well. And, uh, but yeah, so before you do the comments of the love bombing and girl and he did, 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 I get it. <laughs> I get it. But I also want to show you in these videos that, you know, you can be open to love and it's okay. And you have to, everything is not a red flag. And I posted that in a video previously. Uh, this week, but everything, yes, there are crazy people out there. There are, we see them on the news every single day, but there are some people that really have a good heart. And like, say for instance, if you have a good heart, you will want to be with someone who has a good heart and good motives. So if you're a good person, then there has to be other good people out there, right? So yes, um, I would consider our, a good person. Now, as we go along in this journey, will I um, show him? I don't know. That will be up to him to decide if he wants to be a part of this world. Um, up until this point, I haven't even told him what I do officially for work per se. Um, that will be coming up soon. But I haven't told him, um, but I haven't lied. He did ask, cause I'm not a liar. He did ask, what do you do for a living? And I said, I work from home. I'm at home, I'm working. So, you know, he knows that. And um, I, I did mention that I have the background in dental hygiene, which I do. I've been a dental hygienist for 24 years and I still have a good standing license. So I can always go back to dental hygiene if need be. All right, so yeah, but I am interested to find out what his thoughts are when I do tell him. Uh, he did make a mention once. Uh, he said, um, do you have an OnlyFans? Because I don't know, I forgot what we were talking about. He was like, do you have an OnlyFans? And I was like, 
what? I was like, who would want to follow me? <laughs> and then I just diverted the conversation to something else. Um, but that's usually what I do. I literally do not talk about social media when we're together. I talk about everything else, which is, you know, not hard, but it's like weird because social media is my life. But um, I, I can divert conversations to get off of that. But I do feel like now that I'm in his phone, um, he, my videos may even come up on his timeline and he may say, Oh, I know her, <laughs> you never know, but I want to try to beat him to the beat social media to the punch and just let him know. And I really don't think that he would mind. I don't think that he would, um, think of me any different. Um, but yeah, but the reason why, if you're wondering, the reason why I haven't shared is because to meet someone new and tell them that you quit a job and you know i'll post my story up here regarding my journey of when i quit my job but to tell someone new in 2024 that you quit your job of over 10 years to pursue your passion um that kind of maybe it could be looked upon differently and i wanted um whoever i met to get to know me and my heart and not my occupation okay so that is why i didn't uh mention that because guys nowadays are like women want them for their money and xyz and that is not me at all i'm fine god is good and he's blessed me tremendously all my bills are paid and i don't live a life of debt it is what it is um so i want them to get to know my heart before i divulge all of y'all okay so that's that. All right, so. Get your popcorn. Get your popcorn. Get your popcorn. <laughs> All right. So we've been on a total of, and I know this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm trying to catch you up throughout the week. So bear with me. Uh, we've been on a total of five dates. And I laugh because I say, I say outings. And I said that in a text message and I put it in my uh, community tab, but I said, oh, we're going on outings. And he was like, no, we're going on dates. <laughs> so I like that he's like intentional with, um, you know, intentional toward me. All right. So we've been on five and the first one was the Dave and Buster, which you'll see if you saw those videos. And then we went to get crab and then we hung out. Um, later that evening and then the third one was when we went to uh, see bad boys and then we went to eat Mexican uh, That's when he met my friend uh, But uh, it gets better y'all It's it gets better. It gets way better. Okay so our fourth outing date was back to uh, Dave and Buster's because he had to put the money in a card so we were trying to use up the cards and so we went back there and so I got there first before him and I was telling him where I was parked now this R is a gentle man okay gentlemen and I wish that for everybody out there seeking a mate and they are building something out here or whatever because if you hear the trucks I apologize but they're just like going down my street um so i told him where i was parked and he was like stay in your car and i was like okay okay and then so he came and he found where I, my car was i you know i directed him to where my car was and he wanted me to stay in my car because he wanted to open my door for me <laughs> come on now that was so sweet so he is such a gentleman and uh so he opened the door and then we went to david muster and then we ate uh we got some drinks and then we ate and we toasted and uh so that was the eating part and then we went to play games and that was fun too because we're very competitive both of us and so we were playing the different games to see who could beat the other person and i think that's such a great idea like it's fun it's exhilarating it's no stress it might be stressful because you're trying to beat the other person but it was a very great um experience and then we um we went and got the prizes we went you know you get the you have the card on david busters your point to get on there so we went to redeem 
the points to get some prizes and uh, we got this one game and it was funny that we we took the game and we went to the bar and we were playing the game and then it's about questions and stuff like that and it's like it's so funny and then we um and then i got some candy so after we got redeemed the the points and we sat at the bar we were just talking y'all talking talk he has great conversation he can hold the conversation down right and uh so we were sitting there talking and he's just saying how intentional he is toward me and how he wants to, you know, spend more time with me, get to know me. I'm the, we're vibing. The conversation is good. And then y'all, come on now, zoom in, zoom in. We pull out our phones. I think I suggested it because at this point I'm just like, I'm too old to, I'm learning that I'm too old to, not that I'm old, but I'm just too old to try to juggle a lot of things and I don't want to juggle other um potential people and so and plus you know the men a lot of them on these sites are just they are just who they are sometimes you get a response sometimes you don't it is what it is and i have received like guys have given me their number like call me but i don't i don't want to call you and i don't know you then you have my number i don't want to do that so i was like i pulled out our, we put on our phones and y'all y'all we deleted our profile. Oh. to focus on you yes yeah so we did that and that was good because you know sometimes with online dating people can get like so trapped in the cycle like if you get a notification and say if you and your mate are like having a disagreement about something you can see that notification and just try to see what the person other person is saying because you always think the grass is greener on the other side no 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 bring it back get off the app focus on the person that you're with work out y'all issues uh, so we deleted our, our profiles, yay! So we're getting we're getting closer now. Like this journey, I really, I honestly was not expecting all of this, y'all. I'm gonna be 100 with y'all. I was not expecting all of this, but you know what? When God say is it's about to happen, it's about to happen. So we're gonna see. Um, so stay with me, y'all. Subscribe to this video, to this channel, all of that, so you can see how this turns out. You're going to want to see that. All right, so let me look at my notes here. So we did the deleting the profile. And next, he was like, I want to cook for you. Now, I told y'all in a previous video that he enjoys cooking. Like, I cooked Aaliyah. He cooked because he's this passion. Like, he loved it. I don't love it like that. And so he was like, I want to invite you over to my house. Ah, what? Yes, a new day. Today will be date five for us. And he's cooking me dinner. Yes. So I think I've already said this, that he really enjoys cooking. Not me. I cook to live. I cook so that those two that I have contributed to society, that they live. <laughs> so I cook to live. Um, but yeah, so I'm interested. I googled how far he lives from me and he's like oh, 45 minutes. I remember putting on my profile no more than like um, 25 miles. So I think he's at 20 miles but it could be like 45 minutes so i'm getting sister girl squared away here and i'm pretty sure he wouldn't even mind me bringing her um to his place but um yeah 
That's exciting, right? It's somebody cooking that loves to cook. Um, and we may play some games or watch a movie, so I'll fill you in. Of course, I'm gonna fill you in. I know, before you get all scary on me, like, girl, don't be going over this man's house, he could kill you. Okay, I know. Anybody could at this point, you know, but you gotta just have faith and you gotta trust God. And um, like I always say, I do tell my friends, my two main friends, like where I'm going. And so I did send them his address and everything. You gotta cover your back. Yes, okay, I did it. Chill, chill. <laughs> let's just let's go with the process. And so um, he has three boys. And uh, so I went over there and he actually stays uh, maybe like 45 minutes from me, actually. Yeah, it's like 45 minutes, even on the freeway, it's 45 minutes. And so I went over there and y'all, let me, you know what, let me, let me change position so I can really tell y'all how it went down. Oh my gosh. So I come in and uh, he was like, look. I know you like like to have control and everything, but I want to cater to you. And I just want you to enjoy your time here, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, what is he thinking? And so he, he was like, I have your favorite wine. Oh, he paid attention, y'all, to my favorite wine. So he poured me some wine, and then he was like, um, he made a, um, how you say it? Um, Bruce, oh my gosh. Um, Oh, the I'll put it on the screen because I do not want to butcher that word right now. Uh, but when you make the crackers and the cheeses and the meats and stuff, I don't know why it's slipping. Oh, car, sh charcuterie board, charcuterie board. Okay, he made one of those. I probably even butchered it then. But I was like, what? He was like, that's your hors d'oeuvre. You could go ahead and you don't know, munch on that while I make the next meal. So as I'm munching on that, the boys come down and. Um, he has uh, around the same age boys as mine. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. And y'all, when I say his boys are the sweetest. Now, I mean, you know, of course mine. I think mine is sweet too. But they in the close second. They in the close second. And they were just so mannerable. So we have the 18 year old, a 16 year old, a 15 year old. And they're sitting there. And they were questioning me. And not in a rude way or anything like that but just like it was so cute how they were doing it they were like like trying to get little answers for me you know to help their dad or get to know me better and they were like well what's your favorite color and what do you like to do for fun now these are teenage boys and i was like this is so adorable and they were like um do you have children too and all of these you know just multiple questions it was like they were just doing like that it was so precious and so we're eating laughing having a good time and i was you know questioning or asking them different things to get to know them and they also have locks um so that you know we have that in common so they're growing theirs out uh, but they were so he hit he's a single dad and he has done an amazing job with these boys now i know i didn't see them more than at this time at the table but even at the table setting I mean, so sweet, so sweet. They were like, do you want anything else to drink? And they gave me, you know, Sprite, filled it up. You want ice and come on now. They get it from their daddy because their daddy is very, he's such a great guy. All right, so we had that. And then uh, he made, our made um, shrimp, um, shrimp scampi. Uh, yeah, <laughs> shrimp and seafood is my favorite. So he knows that and that was good. He's paying attention. He is so paying attention. Uh, so the shrimp scampi was mwah. so and then, then I thought it was really cool how he fixed my plate first. Then he served the boys. I said, hmm, that's interesting. I like that. I like that. And so the next meal, so he had on um, a movie, the boys had a movie on in the back. So we were eating and looking back at the movie. And then the third, he said, don't get full off of that because I still have more food to give you. And I'm like, you're trying to get me fat. <laughs> and so he was making steaks 
and I'm not a big steak person, but I, you know, I ate it, um, and it was good. So, and he was like, I know you like yours well done. They like theirs like, ra not rare, but medium rare. I don't know, some pink in it. Ugh. But, and he was like, I did yours the way you like it, you know, so you can enjoy it. And, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me, okay. I'm gonna backtrack real quick. I'm sorry. Let me backtrack to back to Dave and Buster's. So when we were at Dave and Buster's and we were sitting there and we were um, eating, the waiter came and I was like, oh, can you take our picture? And so he was like, sure, you know, he was taking pictures. And then you guys, I snuck in a kiss. <laughs> and I was not expecting it. So I, I turned and I pecked him on the lips. back to the house because I forgot when I first came in he was like okay since we got that peck out the way I can kiss you now so when I first came in you know he gave me a kiss or whatever all right so back to the food he made um the steaks and they were and the, they were so good uh what else oh oh back to David Buster's uh we wore Mickey Mouse shirts not the same shirt but something similar you know they both had Mickey Mouse on them so you can know that you know we together we together and so we left um so anyway i uh i left there and i know this is long but i gotta fill y'all in you know hey because this is a weekly thing and then uh so i ended up leaving there and he actually because i took a different way home he showed me how to get to another road so i can go straight shot home uh but yeah i can honestly say it is going well he is so intentional and he was like, I just want to spend time with you and get to know you and I love it. I can just talk so freely to him without judgment. And if you know how much that means, you know, if you're, if you're that type of person, that means a lot to be able to be your transparent self. Like I told him about my heartbreaks and you know, I, I feel like, let me just tell you it all now. So if you can't deal with this, you have the opportunity to make a decision. And um, I, I was just transparent and I told him different things and he was uh, very receptive toward that without any judgment. And I really, really appreciated that. And that's what stands, I mean, he has a lot of things that stands out, but that really stands out to me. But uh, yeah, that's the recap. That's the recap. So I know he wants me to be his special lady and he wants to make it romantic so you're gonna have to stay tuned to see how that goes because i'm gonna tell y'all um uh, and show y'all as many videos as i can um uh, but yeah oh and I, I, that's why he asked about the only fans because i was taking pictures of the food and stuff he was like, you have an OnlyFans? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I forgot why he had said that, you know. But, um, yeah. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section regarding this weekly recap for my online dating over 40. So, I'm off of the apps. And I am, me and R are focusing on each other. So, like the video. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And stay tuned for next week. Thanks for listening to me. My AP, my, what is it, AP talk? <laughs> All right, take care.